What is it, Bruno? <laughs> this is the French F3 rucksack, okay? This rucksack got me thinking. This video is not really about this rucksack, okay? It's sort of about rucksacks in general, but it was this, right? And my quest for a new rucksack that got me thinking, what is the best size rucksack for a bushcraft overnighter, okay? Stay tuned. Guys, this, this French rucksack, I've just been sort of going over it there, giving it a, I don't, I don't use it very often. And I just was, was thinking to myself, right, because, because I'm, I'm on this little bit, these things are really nice, but these little handy things, I was, I was thinking to myself, right, an overnight trip, right? So I've, I've used, it is summertime, so I've used the, the, the Savoda, which is a 30 liter bag. I've used that on a recent overnight trip, right? And it is tight. It is a tight squeeze, right? So I am at the stage of my life where I am sort of willing to sacrifice weight for comfort, if that makes sense, right? So the last camp out I was at, I was sitting up there in the woods and I was doing all my things and, and all that jazz. And I was thinking to myself, Man, I would love to sit down. I would love a little, small, compact, you know, one of those little compact camping chairs, you know, that I can throw in my bag and take it with me. Now, with a 30 liter bag, that's not happening, right? So what happens when it comes to the winter as well? So a 30 liter bag or something that size, you are definitely not getting a winter sleep system into that bag. Now, this bag right here, which is, I'm going to say approximately 80 to 90 liters. I am unsure guys, so get your comments. That maybe maybe by the time this video has come out, I will actually know because I've, I've done a previous video on it because I'm unsure. Now I have found different sources about this bag and some of them contradict each other. Some of them say that this is the F2 bag and some of them say that this is the F3 bag. Now, if this is an 80 liter bag guys, this is as small as it will go. I can't get it any smaller because of the way that the straps are sewn in and stuff like that, okay? So it's quite a big bag. Is it too big? Is it too small? I, I see you guys in the forums and you're raving about carrying the British Army Bergens, which as far as I know are 120 liters. And that is a massive bag. For me, you know, what I think that is a massive, massive bag. Okay, so let's let's look at what I have in this, right? Now there's not a lot, but I just want just wanted to to, to 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 just make a point about something, right? So you're probably looking at this and you're thinking this is this is this is quite a big bag. I I can't tell if it's not if it is or not because every every time I get close, it's uh, it's 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 out of focus. <laughs> This has got the most amazing carrying handle I've ever seen as well. Okay. It's a lump of a bag, a lump. So look, they're sewn, th these straps are sewn in here. So this is actually as small as I can get this. These straps that are on here, they are, just, they are to carry whatever, whatever you're, you're putting into this loop here, like an ice axe or an ax axe, whatever it is you happen to be putting in. Uh, I don't know if I would be trusting that, but is there an opportunity here to get some smaller straps and cinch this down? Because I have a buckle here and I have two buckles here as well, guys, okay? I also have this one here. Is that something I'm missing? Is that something that you can do with this bag? Let me know, let me know. Oh, by the way, guys, I am not here to give any definitive answers on, on any of these questions. I'm here to, to, to have a debate with you about this because I don't know. I am in the process of thinking about a new bag, right? Even though I have this bag that I don't use, I'm thinking about getting one pretty much the same as this bag because that's what we do as bushcrafters, isn't it? Yes, this is an excellent bag. There's, there's no reason for me to get rid of this. And this, 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 these couple of videos I've do, I'm doing are sort of making me rethink this, okay? So, in the bottom of this, no, let me take out what's in the top of it first. So look at the size of this bag, right? 
Look at the size of that. That is huge. That is huge. I have this filled to here, but this is all spare. And the only thing in the top of this is is a, a very unpacked sleeping bag. Hey Bruno, I'm not showing that stick. Oh, you look like you're smoking a cigar. You do. Go on, go away with you. Okay, so. And there's more storage up here. There's more storage in the lid. All that jazz. Look, it's it's a it's a huge thing. So it, is is 90 liters enough? Is it? Right. If I put this on the ground, a dog is either going to pee on it or sleep on it. I'm going to put it up here. And try and remember to put it away. So look. In the bottom of this bag, going from here to here. Now this is a waterproof bottom, by the way. Uh, going here to here, it actually goes out through uh, the, the internal divider that divides the, the bottom sleeping bag section from the top. I'll show you how. This is, this is the internals of the bag, guys. Look, that is the full MMSS sleep system, right? So the mo military modular sleep system, the American army system. That fits in there, right? If I was going winter camping, guys, my sleep system is not going to be much smaller than that, okay? So, is there enough room to get everything else you need? into that bag right including my camping chair and my warm coats and my fluffy slippers and all that other old man stuff that i need now <laughs> so let me know what you think guys it's a bit a bit of a bit of a random video okay I, I'm, I'm looking to hear from you to save me going through all the forums and stuff like i've been doing let me know what you think what is for you the optimum size bag that you can take for a winter overnight, you know? Because you, I don't want a super, super big bag. Do you know what I mean? I don't want a big massive thing, you know? This, if I could compress this down, this would be, would be excellent, you know? Maybe there is a way to compress this down, you know? Uh, the, 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 my other bags, guys, for winter camping are definitely too small. Let's, let's look. Oh, Bruno. So in comparison, guys, this is the the the, the Savota, which is which is over half the size of this thing. Do you know what I mean? So answers in the comments. What do you think is the Bruno? I know, I know. What do you think is the best size for an overall overall bag? Maybe might be a better question. Something that that you can use for the summer and the winter. Okay. So something that there is the possibility of one night or, or two nights, okay, so it needs to be able to take food or it needs to be modular. Like this is modular, I, I can put webbing on the outside here or I can put uh, pouches on the outside here to make this bigger, put my sustainment pouches on and everything will fit and everything will work. Uh, am I overthinking this? And is this already a good bag? Already a perfect bag for overnighters and stuff like that? Guys, okay, let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Stay frosty.